Hello and welcome back to your 18 WJTS Inform. I'm Caitlin Nykum and you know, we're in Jasper, of course, in our studio, but we're going to travel to Ferdinand for today's sake. More specifically, we're going to talk about the Ferdinand Heimat Fest that's coming up this weekend. And we have our special guest, Neil Wire, in this morning to talk about all the fun things that they have planned over there. So, so welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having us. We're excited to be here. So yes, we did. We were we were discussing off camera that you know maybe it might be a little funky of a weekend with weather wise, but it's looking up. So yeah. I, I, it's gonna. Although it might be a little warm, you gotta make sure you stay hydrated and have your proper protection and whatnot. It's gonna be a fantastic uh, weekend for this Friday and Saturday event, right? That's right. I mean, yeah, we we can deal with the heat. We were used to dealing with the rain, so it's. Uh, the heat's not a problem. We've got air conditioned uh, spaces that everybody can go into and cool down and we've got plenty of refreshments for everybody. So come on down and enjoy it. It's a great time. Yes. So this, of course, for those who may have not yet attended the Heimat Fest, the Ferdinand Heimat Fest sponsored by Master Brand is happening at the Ferdinand Community Center. So that is near or that is down the road with 18th Street Park, correct? Correct. Yeah. Side by side. So. So there's plenty of room there. Going to be plenty of parking. What? Remind us, this is Friday and Saturday, right? Correct. So everything really kicks off Friday night at 5 o'clock. The food booths open, the beer garden opens at 5. Uh, the inflatables, the best home furnishings family fun zone will be open starting at 5. So um, a lot of, I mean, basically 5 o'clock, come on down, everything will be open and ready to go. So so you get that, that grueling last few minutes of work and then you pick up the kids and you come party. <laughs> right. So, um, you know, Friday, and then you're going to have a lot to offer on Saturday, but more specifically Friday night, 5 o'clock and afterwards. What, what are some maybe new things that are coming, or what entertainment can we expect? So uh, as far as new things go, the, the one thing we have this year is for the kids. It's called the Woods on Wheels Experience. It's um, Indiana DNR comes in. They bring a trailer in. They teach a lot of elementary school kids about the, the forestry in the area and stuff, and it's kind of interactive, and they teach them all this um, about the forest and they learn a lot from it. So that's one thing we have for the kids. Uh, the other thing is our entertainment, which we're really excited for. Local group first in Maine presented by Jasper Engines and Transmissions. We'll take the Ubalor Chevy uh, Toyota main stage starting at eight o'clock Friday night and play till midnight. So they've got a lot of great variety in their music. Um, we're really excited. They're really high energy, uh, young group of individuals. So it'll be a lot of fun. For sure. And you, one thing that I'm going to pick out that you kind of mentioned there in the scheme of things is there's just as much stuff for the family and specifically for the youngsters as there is for the adults and the maybe the people who want to go a little slower and enjoy themselves, right? That's right. I mean, you know, we, we really take pride in our uh, Best Home Furnishings Family Fun Zone. Like I said, Friday night and Saturday night, there'll be face painting, glitter stencils. Um, there's a magician on Friday evening inside the community center. We have all the blown up inflatables um, through the, throughout and stuff. So it's there's something for everybody, you know, the entertainment, the beer garden for the adults and stuff. So come on down and check it out. It's really a great time. And for maybe those who are inquiring, which is myself, I the 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 offshoot questions is is admittance to the event free. Pretty well, everything we have is free. I mean, obviously, our food vendors, the food and the beer and drinks and stuff, we all have to pay for. But the, the uh, family fun zone is free. Uh, the only event we really have that has an entry fee is our backyard barbecue contest on Saturday. Um, you come down, and in order to sample, you need to buy a $5 wristband at the gate. Um, and then you can sample all the barbecue you'd like. So so you are technically paying for what you're receiving. So. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're going to taste the barbecue, but yeah. that, that's fantastic to highlight because, again, yeah. uh, we, we're, we're out of out of school finally, and, you know, if, if bills are a little tight and you just want to be able to get out of the house, get out of the air conditioning, come, come experience this for a little bit with the kids, maybe without, and just yeah. have a little bit of fun. So, you know, I'm, I'm seeing on Friday night the uh, – Dubois County Cornhole Tournament of Champions is making its rounds to Ferdinand. That's right. So this came back last year. I know BDC had it for a while here, and then uh, the Dubois Club or Dubois County Rotary Club picked mm -hmm. it back up. So uh, it was a popular event last year, and we expect to see a lot of people out there again this year enjoying it. So. So one of the many things that the big big kids get to get to experience at the fest, right? 
Right, that's right. <laughs> and then I'm seeing Pong Tournament and, of course, the Family Fun Zones open through the rest of the evening. That's right. So we have the Pong Tournament in the beer garden. So you, you do have to be 21 to participate in that, but you're not required to drink or anything. So anybody can really participate in it as long as they're over the age of 21. So, so again, big kids have some fun, little kids have some fun, and then there's, of course, music for everybody to enjoy. That's right. And then, you know, we're, we, uh, unfortunately, you know, Friday's going to end, and then Saturday comes, and we get to do it all over again, right? That's right. So we kick things off Saturday morning uh, the, with the 5K run and walk. Um, this kicks off at the main entry to the Forest Park High School, which is a little change from last year due to the ongoing track renovations. So mm -hmm. they'll kick it off there at the main entrance starting at 8 a.m., um, and then we go into the Tri-County YMCA Sand Volleyball Tournament at 9 at the 18th Street Park. So... Um, again, the 5K run walk is for all ages. There's a kids fun run that is after it. So there's something for everybody again. And for people who are maybe not so athletic, there's a car and truck show. There's the, I'm seeing the word dinosaur on this list. So elaborate on the non-athletic events. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yes, the scenic hills at the monastery car, truck and bike show will kick off at nine with judging at 1030 at the community center. Um, and then we also have another uh, event for the kids at the YMCA starting at 1030, which is the Interactive Dinosaur Experience. Mm. So these kids, it's the second year for this event. The kids come down and they love it. These, they have dinosaurs. The kids get to meet and pet and things like that and learn more about. So kids are all excited. It was uh, amazing to see last year. Kids were just jumping up and down, trying to share their knowledge of, of the dinosaur world. So they enjoy it fully. Yes, and one thing that we, we chatted about that I want to make sure to mention about this family fun zone is the uh, the bubble fiasco, exciting, what what do you call that, the, the bubbles? <laughs> uh, the foam party. Foam so, party. Yes, yeah, so they, they bring a foam cannon out for the kids. This is Saturday at, from 1 to 3 um, in, the, in the lot just south of the community center. Mm -hmm. But it fills the entire field with bubbles. Kids get <laughs> lost in here. Uh, this is an event for, I believe it's 12 and under, 12 and under um, kids can participate in it. But, I mean, they just go nuts. I mean, they, like I said, you got kids crawling out. You had no idea where they were. <laughs> and the music's blaring. Kids' music's blaring the whole time. And they just love it. So I think we need an adult foam party for later in the, in the evening. It has been explored, but we haven't gotten there yet. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. I like that answer. I like the, the possibility. And you did, you did mention it earlier. The Backyard Barbecue Contest is um, kind of in the morning going into the afternoon right. on Saturday, right? Yep. Starting at 1130, uh, Saturday morning, you can come down and, and pay the $5 entry fee to get your uh, wristband and stuff and you'll get a boat to go through the, the barbecue contest so yes so barbecue you know cars and trucks foam party for the kiddos not adults uh the horseshoe tournament as well and then all the fun festivities open up going into the evening again right correct so yeah there's we ha we do have the kids stuff going throughout the afternoon the horseshoe yes. tournament um at 1 p.m as well the beer garden opens at three food booths open back up at five so Best Home Furnishings Family Fun Zone again on Saturday evening and then get into the entertainment. So And I'm seeing some silly safari here on the oh, on yeah. the on the list too. So that's a pretty hot item here in our area. Yeah, the kids go crazy for this <laughs> as well. Uh they bring down a bunch of animals and the kids get to see an up close experience with them. So they uh they go crazy for it. They know a lot of times they bring out a big anaconda or whatever at the end and the kids are all up there holding it and it's it's a unique experience for them. Yes, and not to shy away from the FFA Kitty Pedal Pool happening as well. So I, I would like to think everyone knows about what the Kitty Pedal, pedal Pool is, but will you remind us? Yeah, yeah. So the FFA puts this on every year for us. Um, I believe there's three weight classes um, that you can check out on our Facebook page or website and get more details on that. But Basically, they, they have a little uh, tractor with uh, pedals on it, and they fill the weights in the back wagon, and <laughs> the kids try and pull it as far as they can. So it's, they really uh, get into it, that's for sure. Yes, I remember very competitive when I was, uh, you know, not so tall. And uh, definitely fun to see the kids really trying to you exert that energy because, you know, kids have unlimited energy. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely fun, yeah. and everyone gets to cheer them on. Uh, Neil, I wanted to mention, for those who maybe didn't catch on as well, is that 
not only is this event mostly free because of your sponsors, but almost everything here on, on your um, event schedule as well as the venue and all of that stuff has some sort of sponsor. So being able to thank them and see how big of an impact their sponsorship makes to the Hymet Fest is really important, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, we, we're fortunate to have these great sponsors. You know, Master Brand has been our, our main sponsor for as long as our committee has done this. So we really want to thank them. You know, Best Home Furnishings, Ubalor Chevy, Toyota, um, German American Bank, Ramen Law Office, all of them are great. And they're what help, helps put this on and keep it free for everybody involved. So. You know, we're really thankful to have them in our corner, um, and we just want to say thank you for everything that they do. Excellent stuff. Remind us, Friday and Saturday, what are the, the open and closing times for those two days? So Friday, everything kicks off from 5. Um, you know, the beer garden and stuff will be open till about 1 a.m. Saturday morning, and then Saturday is really an all-day event, um, you know, finishing off with... Uh, Michael Wilmus at 7.30 on the main stage and then uh, the rumors at eight or nine o'clock till midnight um, as well, so. So full full day, day and a half of activities. There's a fantastic entertainment. I know fair food is the best food, so I know it's gonna be good no matter what. All kinds of stuff for kids, for the family, for everyone really. It, it sounds like it's gonna shape up to be another fantastic and successful Heimat Fest for you guys. So we're super excited to hear about it and before we let you go, if, if anyone's wanting to plan their Heimat Fest trip, how best can they do some research on these things or maybe um, see what the lineup's going to be or learn more? So uh, the best way is probably to check out our Facebook page, Ferdinand Heimat Fest. Uh, we also have our website, FerdinandHeimatFest.com, or our Instagram page, Ferdinand Heimat Fest. So those are three good options um, to check out and find the schedule of events and uh, any information you want to know about about our events and how to register for them or whatnot. So fantastic! Lots of online resources. You plan your trip. You get the kids signed up for something and then you go and spend all day in Ferdinand. Sounds like a fantastic weekend to me. Yeah, it'll be great. So we're looking forward to having everybody there and uh, showing off the town. Fantastic, Neil. Thank you so much for coming in and chatting with us about it. It looks like you guys are. Not only going to have a busy weekend, but, you know, an eventful one. And I know the people who are very dedicated to the Heimat Fest, they're going to show out and show their colors just as, just as you'd expect. So best of luck. And, of course, stay cool over the weekend. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much at home for watching. This has been your 18WJTS Inform. Be sure to head over to the Ferdinand Heimat Fest this Friday, June 21st, and this Saturday, June 22nd. And we are local people watching local people.